Now, some of you niggas is tender dicks. What I'm saying is not going to register to you. You one of them touchy-feely ass, crybaby ass niggas, you love the bitch. That's what you're going to get on here and say. Love, I love her. More power to you, my G. It is what it is. Like I say, some of y'all, you never be able to attract the real bitch anyway because it ain't in you. You still don't wipe right and the front of your boxes be smelling like piss. All right, so I'm going to get to it, right? When y'all niggas is trying to pick a female that you actually want to take serious, dude, outside of the vanity. Outside of that, because, you know, you attracted to who you attracted to based on looks, weight, you know, whatever, whatever energy she give off. You know, you probably watch holes, pages and shit and you feel like, oh, I like how this bitch posted. However you choose, when you go to talking to a bitch and you decide whether you want to take her serious, the first thing you got to figure out, the first thing, my G, over anything is does this bitch have a sense of understanding? Relationships are about understanding. And when I tell y'all, women, we are the most important beings on this earth, in this world, because life starts with us. When you have a mother or a female, a woman, that motherfucking don't got no understanding or practicality about life, Bro, shit's not going to go well. It's not going to go well. It's not going to go well. It's not going to go well. I don't give a fuck how fat her ass is, how pretty her face is, how exotic she look. You know, some of you niggas like them red holes. I don't give a fuck how red she is. If the hoe don't got no sense of understanding, nigga, you going to get took up and through there. There will be times where you ain't even wrong and that hoe going to make you think she wrong, make you think you wrong. There are going to be times where it's stuff that you shouldn't have to do. You're going to have to do because when a bitch don't got no understanding for practical shit in life, they it will run you up and through there as a man. Do y'all understand that? Y'all understand that? Number one, the whole got to have a sense of understanding. Number two, the bitch got to care about herself past vanity. I'm going to let that settle for a second. Y'all got to stop fucking with these bitches that all they care about is fixing themselves up on the outside. I told y'all, they selling everything except for the inner stuff you need to make it in life you cannot buy common sense you cannot buy practicality you cannot buy understanding so i don't give a fuck how bad of a bitch you niggas got you ain't got yourself nothing if that hoe don't got no real self-care. A bitch can't be no real-ass parent, can't raise no kids that grow up to be productive members of society. She can't be no real wife to you. The hoe cannot be shit if she don't got the right shit going on inside. And in order to have the right shit going on inside, bitch, you got to care about yourself past the lashes, the makeup, the lip gloss, the wigs, the fake nails, the motherfucking outfits, the pedicures, all that shit. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? The foreign cars, the toy birch slides, the motherfucking Louis Vuitton bags, all that shit. All them fucking uh, rolly watches these hoes don't win and bought with their scam money and shit. A bitch got to have more going on past that. Y'all hear me? Alright, number three. Number three. You got to get you a bitch, bro, that value privacy. You got to get you a female, bro, that understand the importance of privacy. You got to get you a woman, bro, that understand what privacy means. Y'all be with these hoes and she looks great. Great. Ass A1. Body A1. Outfits be A1. Have herself together. Hygiene be up. The hoe don't know nothing about privacy. So anything you do with her, anything you say to her, anything y'all got going on, she'll run to Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, the motherfucking church, the neighborhood, the club, the hair salon, the nail shop, and tell everything. A lot of y'all niggas, you get set up and robbed. A lot of y'all niggas, you end up losing your, your, your valuables. You end up losing your assets. You end up losing relationships with your kids behind holes that don't know the importance of privacy. Privacy. Y'all be with these bitches in these holes, tell and talk about everything. They don't understand how to manage emotions because they have no real sense of self-care, which is number two. And when you make these bitches mad, they will tell things about what y'all got going on that you shouldn't. And this is especially important for you street niggas. Y'all be with these young hoes and y'all feel like because she cute or because, you know, all the other niggas want her or the ops cross town want your bitch and all of that. That's all well and dandy. It sound good on a rap song, over a beat nigga or in a music video. But in real life, when you have one of these bitches that as soon as they get mad at you, they're going to tell everything y'all got going on. It's the quickest way to get your ass set up, robbed, or for another nigga to know where y'all live at or what y'all got going on. It's not cute, my G. It's not cool. It's not going to work out in the end. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? 
The whole got to have some sort of sense of me and my nigga got to have some shit going on that everybody else don't fucking know about. Another thing is, a lot of these hoes y'all talk to, they don't know how to stand on their own enough to where they don't tell their family everything y'all got going on. Some of y'all, the whole brother, her mama, her sister, know everything you got going on, including that one time you was on that pill and couldn't get your dick hard, including that one time you got robbed, them niggas took your money, including that one time when your ass didn't come home and she threw all your stuff out on the porch and you cried, my nigga. She told us everything and it's sad you picking the wrong type of bitches for y'all young niggas if you get this shit early you will grow up and have a lot less stress in your life a lot of y'all niggas the main source of stress in y'all life come from lack of money and the type of bitches that y'all be having around y'all do y'all understand what i'm explaining because i'm telling y'all some g ass shit all right cool the fourth thing is, does the bitch have submissive energy in your presence? Now, a lot of hoes don't even understand what being submissive to a man mean. They think it mean, oh, love, you saying do what a nigga tell you to do. Down in Miami, at them surgery centers, they don't do no surgeries that can teach a bitch how to be submissive to a man. Up in Atlanta, where they had them surgery centers and shit, not in Houston, Texas and shit, they don't got no motherfucking surgery to be able to help a bitch understand how to be a woman. They don't have that. They don't have college courses to teach you how to submit in the presence of a real man. Y'all niggas got to pay attention to a whole energy when she around you. If a nigga, act, if a bitch act like a whole nigga in your presence, that's not the bitch for you. Females get soft in the midst of alpha niggas that they feel like it's that nigga. If you around a bitch and she jump at you and talk to you like you just one of her homegirls or her little brother, bro, that's not the bitch for you. Y'all wife niggas that, y'all wife bitches that treat y'all like they little brother. They be calling you bro and shit, trying and shit, telling you better hurry up, talking to you any kind of way, telling all your business and shit. She got no submissive energy towards you, bro, at all. None. So it don't matter how many of her bills you pay. It don't matter how fat her ass is, how many times you done hit it wrong, if them kids, your kids or not. If a hoe don't have no submissive energy towards you as a man, you ain't really her motherfucking man anyway. And that's a lot of the problem that you niggas having in y'all life. These hoes is handling y'all like bitches. You ain't supposed to take a bitch serious that don't take you serious as a man. And if a hoe don't understand the importance of submission in the presence of a man... That ain't the bitch for you, bro. Trying to help you niggas out on this.